Welcome to all to the video Views and Sequences in SQL. Views are virtual tables formed by a query. So we will see the syntax of the views. So let's see the syntax how to create the view. Now for creating the view we will create view, view name as select the columns whatever we required from the table to be fetched and the table name with the help of the where from clause and the where condition whatever the conditions that we need to apply we will be using it in the where condition so the example here is create view brazil customer ads select customer name contact name from customers where country equals to brazil so create view the name of my view with the with which it has been created is the Brazil customer. Brazil customer is the name of the view. And the data in the view is customer name, contact name from the customer table. And the country that need to be fetched, it will be only the data of the Brazil country. So here we will get how to fetch the data from the view. So we will be using the query select star from Brazil customer. We will fetch the data from the Brazil with the help of the select statement from the view. So next is how to drop a view. So for dropping a view, we will use the DDL command drop view. So drop view, view name, the view that we need to drop that we need to specify in the drop command drop view view name so here we will drop the brazil customer view so the example provided over here is the drop view brazil customers the next database object that we will be looking into is the creating sequences creating sequences is one of the important object of the databases so in sequences a auto number field is generated the sequences is operated only on the numeric values so the sequence for creating a view creating sequences is create sequence sequence name and these are the parameters that we need to provide as the minimum value maximum value start with value increment by value and the cache value so minimum value that we need to provide for the sequence we have to provide it in the parameter min value the maximum range that we need to provide for a sequence is the max value the sequence from where we need to start with we have to provide the starting value in the start with value increment through which we want to increment the value that is being the incremented value and the cache size by default the cache size is of 20 minimum value maximum value start with value incremental value and cash value these are all the optional parameters that are being provided this is the example for the creating sequence creating sequence supplier sequence is the name of my sequence that we will be creating minimum value i have provided over here is one and maximum value is in the range that has been provided Start with value means my sequence value will start with 1. It will be incremented by 1 as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as increment. If I provide the incremental value as 2, it will be in the range 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. The cache value as provided here is 20. So, this is one more example of the sequence. And to access the value of the sequence, we use the next val function. So supplier underscore sequence is the name of my sequence. The dot operator is used to access the value. And next val is a function that has been provided to access the next value. So how to use this sequence in the insert statement is being provided the example over here. Insert into suppliers, supplier ID, supplier name, values. For supply ID, we are going to create a sequence. So this for supply ID, the numbers will be auto generated. We don't have to provide it manually. So supply underscore sequence dot next well is a sequence that has been created for the supply ID. And for supply name, we have provided the crafts food. 
how to drop a sequence so again we use here the ddl statement drop drop sequence sequence name so the supplier sequence will be drop as we have created and it will be drop by using a drop sequence statement thank you